It may have been directed to only a dozen or so recipients, but an email sent by a Brampton councillor to his council colleagues and a constituent is sounding alarm bells about racism at Brampton City Council's table. Now, the email claims that white people created a welcoming and peaceful Canada and that new immigrants should try to learn white people values. And the councillor, well, he's standing by his words. I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. Uh, it doesn't represent what I think the qualities of a council in a diversity like Brampton should be exemplified by. Brampton's mayor is referring to this, an email by regional councillor John Sprovieri sent to Brampton councillors and a constituent. To be fair, people of all races, color and creeds are eager to come to Brampton and Canada because the white people of this nation have developed a great system where everyone is welcome and can live peacefully together. He wrote in a response to an email inquiring about Brampton's hiring practices. He adds, I hope that the newcomers will learn the values of the white people so that Brampton and Canada will continue to be a favorite destination for people who want a better and peaceful lifestyle. He says the white people he was referring to were those that enacted the Charter of Rights and Freedoms in 1982. And he stands behind what he said. Is it, was it a poor choice of words? I, I don't believe so. Uh, maybe it doesn't sound good. But but really, uh, I don't I don't see uh, how it's incorrect or uh, or uh, it may be improper possibly, but it's not certainly not incorrect. Spurvieri has sat on Brampton City Council for nearly 30 years. Since he was first elected, it's become Canada's ninth largest city, and two thirds of its residents are visible minorities. Jeffrey says it may be time for Sprovieri to take some cultural sensitivity training. I think everybody can benefit from a diversity training. Uh, I think we all sometimes get sloppy in the way we approach issues and we're in a changing world. You know, we've had some issues in this community specifically about the Muslim community. Uh, we, we certainly have had a lot of Indigenous uh, input into how we conduct our meetings. I think we're uh, evolving. I think there were a lot of nice stories. After there... Jeffrey suggested Sprovieri seek out diversity training, he curtly responded. Mayor Jeffrey, from my understanding, the Native people want their land back. Any suggestions on how that may happen? And he told us it simply wasn't necessary. I'm not insensitive to people. I, I think I'm very sensitive to my constituents, especially 60% of my constituents are uh, uh, South Asian and uh, probably only... I'd say probably maybe 20% are actually white people. We reached out to the constituent who was on the other end of this email. She has not yet responded, but Jeffrey says the city manager is looking to see if it contravenes the city's code of conduct for councillors. We read through it and no part specifically deals with the language Sprovieri used. If it isn't a breach, it should be. Um, I just, this isn't the behavior that I would expect from someone on my council, and um, I disagree with a Councillor Spovieri's position. Now, a formal complaint with the city's integrity commissioner could be filed, but it's not clear at this hour if one has been by the resident involved in the email exchange or by any other of the recipients.